Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing Friday, May 28th, 2021. Technically, it is Thursday, June 24th, 2021. So doing a little bit of backtracking for the channel, uh, getting caught up with readings as fast as I can so we can get current, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and ring the bell 21 times to call in our trusted ancestors to give us guidance, love, support in all areas of our life and to help us to bring in miracles into our life and for healing, okay? And so it is. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is Scorpio. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's see. We got the power of number one. Some of you <clears throat> could be dealing with a Capricorn and or an Aquarius throughout the month of January. If the Magician card kicks in because that is represented by the power of number one, you could be dealing straight up with a Gemini. Power of number 10. Ooh, okay. Some of you could be a Scorpio born at the latter part of October and or you could be dealing with another Scorpio at the latter part of October or you could be dealing with a Libra throughout the earlier part of October. With the number 10, we could see the Wheel of Fortune card kick in. So some of you could be dealing also too with a fixed sign an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio, such as yourself. Power of number three. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces and or an Aries throughout the month of March for some of you. Okay. Definitely could see the Empress card kick in, which would be fantastic energy because that would also represent a very big, strong new beginning for you, Scorpio. So, all right, going to the power of number 14 with the number four out of that 14, uh, some of you could be dealing with an Aries and or a Taurus throughout the month of April. So we could also see the Emperor card kick in. Which, if the Empress and the Emperor card kicks in, you know what that means? That is power couple energy on the board. I would love to see that happen for you guys, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. And with that power of number 14, we could also see the temperance card show up. So some of you could be dealing also too with a Sagittarius, okay? <clears throat> Trusted ancestors, what is the main focal point of energy for the reading for the day commencing Friday, May 28th, 2021 and beyond that point of, of that time frame, please? What's going on? Ooh, this is a little somber, but I'm not so sure, Scorpio... If this is entirely you, this could be your specific person, okay? Oh, boy. Nine of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, and or a Gemini. does not have to be. Somebody is restless. Somebody's not sleeping. Somebody could be dealing with migraine headaches. Somebody could also be going through back issues or neck issues. I'm getting a lot of tension and or strain throughout the upper neck area, more towards <clears throat> like near the ear, like under the base of the ear. Some of you might need to go get a really good, strong, deep tissue massage. Your bodies deserve it. 
Somebody cannot get you off of their mind, Scorpio. Either you're restless for this person or this person is restless for you. Somebody could be having nightmares or reoccurring dreams. You could be waking up between the hours of 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. for some of you. I'm also seeing something about 1.30 in the morning. Somebody could also be crying late at night. Or there's anxiety for some of you. Or this is your specific person. There's a yearning and or a longing energy that is circulating in and around the energy of this card. Let's dive a little deeper. Trusted ancestors, why is this Nine of Swords activity going on? Why is it here? Why does it have to be here? Why do we have to see this? Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, and nine. <clears throat> mm. Okay. We have, okay. We have the full card. Okay, power of number zero. Zero is the cosmic egg number, energy number, okay? It's like the alpha and the omega number. The full card is represented by the sign of Aries. Aries rules over the head space. And if you look at this person, this person has their, <clears throat> their hand over their head. Like I said, somebody cannot get you off of their mind, Scorpio. And maybe somebody here is restless and or tossing and turning, trying to figure out how the hell maybe to have a new beginning here with you. I feel somebody has got some real strong pent up regret maybe somebody knows that they've been lying to you Scorpio maybe they've been lying to themselves maybe they've been in denial about the connection between you and them The Fool card is about Carpe Diem, seize the day. This person could also be having dreams of you at night, Scorpio. Could be reoccurring, like I said. Somebody here could be a dog owner. Have some kind of a dog mix. Somebody has a pit bull. I'm picking up a poodle. I see a golden retriever, a Shih Tzu, an Akita. Some of you love white roses. White roses represent purity, honesty, and I believe integrity. I also like to think that the white rose also brings in truth. Somebody here could have regret about leaving you behind, Scorpio. Let's find out. Let's dive deeper.
Trusted ancestors. What is going on here? Oh my God. Some of you guys. Oh, geez. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. A lot of messages coming in. We have the devil card. Some of you are dealing straight up with the Capricorn. Okay. This person cannot let you go. There's some form I feel of an like an obsessive compulsive behavior. There's also passion. There's also desire. Somebody could also be sexually attached to you. Maybe there's like a friends with benefits situation that's going on. And this person could feel restless without you next to them. Somebody is also feeling a lot. Again, I'm getting a lot of passion. But there also could be some form of toxicity that's also going on, too. I haven't really had the devil card kick in in a while. It's, it's actually been a while. Somebody could also be working... <clears throat> The night shift, like third shift, okay? Um, I'm also picking up somebody is a cop or is in love with a cop or was involved with a cop. Sorry for the silence. This... This devil energy, it's not necessarily like it's stumping my energy. I'm just trying to pick up as many messages because I'm, I'm, I, my eyes are shifting from the nine of swords back to the devil, from the devil back to the nine of swords, nine of swords back to the devil again. You know, so my eyes are going back and forth. <clears throat> Somebody here is sexually driven towards you, Scorpio, or they want to feel you, okay? They, they, they want to feel your energy, or they just flat out cannot let go of you. I feel for sure though that somebody feels like they know that they played you Scorpio there's some odd energy I'm telling you this really odd all right trusted ancestors we need more clarification please For the fool. I'm counting in my head right now the numbers. going to clarify this nine of swords I have to because why would somebody why are they so restless all right trusted ancestors um show me this energy of the fool card it's like somebody wants to have a new beginning or somebody is a fool in love or somebody might feel 
guilty for leaving Scorpio behind. Or there's a new beginning that is headed in Scorpio's direction and their specific person may be besides themselves as to how to go about doing this. What is the fool? Well, I did say the Emperor card could kick in when the number 14 that we shuffled to, but I said that power of number four. Okay. Somebody knows, I feel, that they need to level up. Okay. They could be stressing out about how to give you long-term commitment, Scorpio. My dog is snoring. <laughs> Sorry if you could hear her. She's like passed out. This person... I feel that they know that they they want to be with you or they know that they should be with you. But they may still have they may still have some inner demons that are going on and or maybe for some of you Scorpios out there could have been possibly dealing with somebody who had a major drug addiction. This is what I'm also picking up too. I do hear the word rehab for sure. Message from the devil. How is this energy coming in? Yeah, okay. This is somebody stressing out about long-term proposal. Or they are obsessing over you, Scorpio, on how to do this. Okay, so the Princess of Pentacles, I consider this like the Knight of Pentacles in this deck. Long-term offer, long-term commitment. Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn energy. They could be stressing out about how, how to maybe provide. But I don't feel like this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, male or female, doesn't matter. I don't feel like they're necessarily so much struggling for money. I don't feel like they are destitute. I think they're obsessively, compulsively thinking because the Nine of Swords, sword activity represents communication and mental thought process. I feel like this person definitely knows that they want to be with you. We've had over the last few readings, for sure, Everything from engagement, elopement, long-term partnerships, blast from the past energy, and, you know, your ex, your twin flame, whatever the case may be. How is the Nine of Swords coming into play? God Almighty, yeah. Eight of Swords. But technically, it came up in the reverse. Somebody's got to get out of their head or get over their hang-ups about long-term commitment. Because I feel, Scorpio, that this person knows that you wanted or do want either marriage or living under the same roof or commitment, devotion, fidelity, all of that. And it could be that this person... Could have felt trapped by certain circumstances. There could have been exes that were getting in the way or third party situations that were getting in the way and other toxic karmic people, family members that were getting in the way. This person could be mentally stressing. Who is to say that, and this has come up in my readings before, not lately, but it has before in the past where there have been parents that have broken up divine twin flame unions. Somebody may now recognize in that particular scenario that their mother did indeed break up the partnership or the father or the sister or the brother or the cousins, or the bromances, or the girlfriends, grandparents, 
Could be even children. Toxic karmic children. Okay? That maybe weren't exactly raised correctly. I feel like somebody here is... is I feel like their back, in a sense, is up against a wall. But it's showing me through the Eight of Swords that somebody is going to get out of this vicious cycle so that they can come forward. Maybe somebody is stressing over the fact that they, you know, there could be an arranged marriage, you know, that's going on. Or somebody's just merely just stressing over the fact of how to give you, and they're obsessing over this, how to get out of their hang-ups, their mental hang-ups, of commitment. Commitment through the Emperor, commitment through the Princess of Pentacles. And how to have this <clears throat> new beginning here with you, Scorpio. Very interesting. Let's see what else is going on. Message, look it. Woo, man, that Empress jumped out of my hand. What did I just say about the numbers? My readings rock, you guys. I said I would love to see power couple energy for you. And you can send power couple energy towards me too, okay? Make a deal. Emperor and Empress. It could be mother-father energy. Mother-father energy that could be toxic. That is, you know, parents that are driving somebody crazy right now. Mentally crazy. Could be grandparents. Somebody could be coming in this person, Scorpio. They want it. I'm telling you that this person knows that they're meant to be with you. They want this long-term commitment. But now I'm seeing it as, in certain scenarios, this devil card is a blockage. That has to be destroyed. Only energy work can do that. Your spirits and your trusted ancestors on the other side they're saying, don't be too trusting of everybody. Not everybody is love and light. There could be a clingy ass mother on somebody's son. Or a father that clings on to the daughter. Or vice versa. Mother-daughter situation. Somebody is, okay, I just heard Freddie Mercury's voice in my head. I want to break free. It could be to break family ties, break free from certain family ties because there's something toxic in a family situation, which is interesting, but not all uncommon, okay? And that, like I said, on the other flip side of the coin, this person is mentally stressing on how to break free, how to get past these mental blockages. Their ego, ego can come through the devil card. We need ego in order to succeed, but sometimes having too much ego can put us in a lot of fear, a lot of fear-based thoughts about the future, okay? This person could be having fear-based thoughts about the future, in what direction the situation between you and them is headed. There could also be a scenario going on right now that somebody could have gotten pregnant or somebody is pregnant. Somebody could be waiting for their person. If somebody is pregnant, they could be waiting for their person to get out of jail. 
I'm also picking that up. Give me a message from the Princess of Pentacles, trusted ancestors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somebody feels stuck. Or, Scorpio, you are in the Four of Cups mode. Like, you want to be with this person because you feel that this person is either your emperor or your empress. And you're wondering when this person is going to reach out to you. Well, it could be within the next four days for some of you, if you have not heard from this person in a while. Could be in 12 days. For some of you. The universe is also coming in to give you something that will end up being more satisfactory. Maybe you feel defeated, Scorpio, with this person. Because you're waiting for them in certain scenarios. You're waiting for this person to make a damn decision. And get out of their ego and stop having fear about long-term partnership, long-term commitment. And for them to reach out to you. Because there's a power couple energy here. This person may also be getting a spiritual awakening. Because let's just say, for example, Eight of, eight of Swords in the upright. This person, maybe you were trying to tell them. To listen to your in, you know, listen to your intuition. They didn't want to heed the warning, heed the call. So they put themselves into their own Harry Houdini self-imposed prison. You might have said, hey, look, you know, we could be a power couple. You know, this could be a great union or, you know, coming together. I think we're so good for one another, etc. But this person, for some odd reason, felt stuck or maybe trapped or they were tied down to people, places, things, and or situations, or they didn't want to see the truth. When, in all actuality, they have the ability to get out of this circumstance. So, came up in the reverse, right? So you go from the nine to the eight. So, the energy is working its way down, okay? Something is going on right here from the 9 to the 8. Something's going on here in the energy. Let's take a quick look at this Empress for this new beginning. On the bottom of the deck, judgment call before I shuffle. Sign of Scorpio onic energy. So if you think that the situation between you and this person is dead and gone, Scorpio, get ready because it's going to revitalize itself. Once this person has the light bulb click on, okay, and, and they make a solid decision because if they don't, it's going to eat them up on the inside, okay? What is the Empress bringing in? Yeah, look at, look at, look at, look at. Exactly. Long-term partnership, long-term commitment, sign of Taurus and or Gemini coming in through the Herio font. Again, in certain scenarios, there could be an arranged marriage that's going on. And these parents are toxic. They're so toxic with a capital T. Other scenarios, this is a divine union that is waiting to emerge here. So what the hell is going on up here, right? Nine and eight is 17. Okay. Teamwork and collaboration. They could be thinking over the whole idealism of marriage. They could be thinking about this partnership. Or maybe a friend may give them some form of advice. Good, strong, solid advice. It could be coming in from an earth sign. 
that's going to maybe help them to see the situation or this partnership between you and them in a particular scenario so that they get out of this whatever's holding them back okay because we have the devil card here message from the hero font one two three four and five and then we gotta end the reading prince of swords somebody's been in observation of you scorpio or somebody is seeking out information about you or you've been seeking out information about your person This is some tough-ass energy. Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. So the way I'm going to sum this up, for this is very odd, but there's a reason for it. This person is going to get out of this mental stuck energy very soon. Okay? So we're going to leave it at that, and we're going to see how the readings are going to evolve over the next few videos. Okay? So just keep this in mind, but don't.